Hey my cookies, today we are going to be braising some oxtails and their fork tender. Let's cook. Starting with the oxtails, I only have two pounds. You can do two or three for this recipe, however much you like. And oxtails can be really fatty and I asked the butcher to leave some fat attached so that I can show my cookies how to trim it off. You just want to cut as much as you can as close to the meat without cutting the meat. And here's all the fat that has been removed. I wish my fat was this easy to take off. Anyway. And y'all, I don't care what the internet says about washing meat. As for me in my house, we gonna wash our meat, okay? Oxtails tend to have this little grittiness to them. You see that? And I don't, uh-uh. We're not about to cook that. Let's rinse that. First, I rinse them off. Then place them into a bowl and cover them with water. I'm going to squeeze some lime juice into the water. Some people use salt or even lemons or vinegar. I prefer limes. It's up to you. After five minutes of soaking, I drain it and then I do it all over again. Fill it up with more water and soak for five more minutes. Give them one last rinse and then pat them dry with paper towels. As for the seasoning, I'm just going to start with onion powder, garlic powder, and I have this jerk seasoning straight from Jamaica, baby, and I'm going to use this. It's super, super spicy. If you can't get your hands on jerk seasoning, don't worry. I'll have an alternative in the recipe link in that description box, so I got you covered. Just using a little bit. I don't want them to be too spicy. And then some Worcestershire sauce. Did I do it? I did not jack that up. You can marinate it for at least two hours. Overnight is better, but just wrap it in plastic wrap and refrigerate. Now it's time to sear. I'm going to heat some olive oil in my Dutch oven. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add in our oxtails and we're going to brown them on all sides. It's going to take about a minute per side depending on the thickness of your tails. Mine aren't very thick. I wish I could have found those thick meaty ones, but these are just fine. And be sure not to crowd your pot. We don't want them to steam. So if you have to do this in batches, then do that. But do not overcrowd the pot. Don't forget the edges. Do the sides. Once the oxtails have browned, remove them and add in your onions. Now sprinkle in some flour, swirl that around. I know the bottom of that pot looks burnt, but y'all know me better than that. It's not, that's the flavor. Stir that flour. Add the tomato paste and stir. And deglaze with some red wine. I'm using Merlot. Can't forget the minced garlic. I didn't get my water and my beef bouillon cubes. You can use regular beef stock if you'd like. Once it starts to simmer, you can turn the heat off. Now add the oxtails back in, and if you notice the amount of liquid, it's not that much. It's really shallow because we want to braise the meat in the oven, not boil it. If you put too much liquid, it will just boil instead of braise. Now I'm adding in some fresh thyme and rosemary. Can't forget the bell peppers. I'm going to add some red, yellow, and green bell peppers on top. A Dutch oven works best for this recipe, but if you don't have one, you can do this in a crock pot, slow cooker. I'll have the conversion and times listed in that link in the description box. You just need a pot that's oven safe with a heavy lid. And we're going to bake this on 340 degrees for about 3 hours to 3 and a half hours until it's fork tender. And cookies, this meat will slide off the bone. Look at that. And this gravy. My lord. <laughs> the recipe link will be down there in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, Cookies. I hope you found this helpful. Give me a thumbs up. But wait, you got to see how tender this meat is. So, Y'all, look at that. I can't even. I got to eat. Until next time, be blessed.